It's an unusual sight. These billboards on the expressway. They ask for tolerance and respect when people see Muslim women wearing a headdress called the hijab. Here's CBS 2's Jim Williams. Brown Malik says when her daughter Aman wanted to wear an hijab to high school, she had a question. I was like, um, are you sure? Are you sure? Why did you ask her, are you sure? Because I was afraid. Mm. I was afraid for her. Because mom knew from her own experience what might follow. Take the driver who tried to force her off the road. Right off on 59 in Streamwood, and he drove me into oncoming traffic with my kids in the car and spewing out words like, go back to your country. It's why Malik and other members of the Muslim group Gain Peace won at these billboards along 294 and I 55, showing the hijab as a symbol of empowerment and devotion to their religion. I choose to wear the hijab, so I follow the command of God. They hope to dispel what they call negative stereotypes about Muslim women. Wearing the hijab is 100% my choice. As contrary to the popular belief, hijab in no way oppresses us. 17 year old Aman now wears a hijab and has felt the sting of bigotry. Some kid will come up to me and call me, Why don't you go back to your country, you terrorist? Two billboards may not change the hearts of bigots, but it's a start, they believe. Just because I wear the hijab or I dress a certain way, it shouldn't be threatening. Everyone we talk to today emphasize the vast majority of people they encounter are respectful and they encourage anyone to ask questions about the hijab and Islam, which is why they've included a phone number on the billboards. Rob and Erica, they'll be up another month. All right. Thank you, Jim.